Long-term care insurance marketing. It is a tough nut to crack, I promise you that, because it's a specific market that if you sell long-term care insurance, you understand kind of dynamics that are changing in the market. Um, people are you know, qualifying out of it. It's also typically a higher income type um, product as well. So it's a little bit difficult uh, marketing campaign to build, but we have cracked the nut and I'm here to kind of talk about long-term care insurance marketing for those that are interested in that. Um, Secure Agent Marketing has several clients now nationwide that are doing long-term care. Now, I kind of wanted to break down um, nothing secret in terms of their campaigns, but really just kind of how you want to think about it and how it works in general. So the first thing that I like to kind of bring up is that the uh, the larger the geography, the easier the long-term care campaign is to succeed. What I mean by that is we really need multi-state if we can, state if we can, nationwide if we can, 35 states etc. The larger the geography, the easier it is to grab these leads and results that we're looking for uh, to either pump into your call center or get you the leads to you know set meetings up or, or telesales yourself, whatever you'd like. Um, so that's kind of step number one. Uh, in general, the larger geography, the easier it is to succeed. The smaller the geography, it'll still work. It just ends up being a little bit more expensive per result. Okay. So now there's two ways that we're currently doing um, these marketing campaigns. I'm going to break down uh, both of those ways uh, so you can kind of understand. Now, what I want to do is kind of teach you a little bit about what um, you will see me as you start to watch our content. I draw this marketing funnel all the time. Okay. There's two types of traffic, okay? There's top funnel traffic, right? Top funnel, and then there's bottom funnel, okay? The difference between the bottom funnel traffic and the top funnel traffic is very simple. This top funnel traffic is people that are in our target market, they're in our geographic market, and they are demographically exactly who we want to uh, match to in terms of income, in terms of zip code, in terms of all the different things that we know that qualify people into long-term care, age, et cetera, right? So, that is the individual, the group of people that we're targeting, but aren't necessarily looking to shop long-term care insurance yet, right? They're just in the category that are potentially hoping that we want to spur their interest to shop, as opposed to bottom funnel traffic. These are the people that are going to Google and looking up long-term care insurance plans, understanding it, researching it, etc. So in general, we have two different sort of marketing campaigns that we run. This ends up being a lot of the social media social media now we can get good results here and still get our cost per result on relatively low uh, with social media but it's also a little bit less buyer intent than what this bottom funnel traffic is which is google all right so they're kind of looked at different ways with the top funnel traffic with social media we're going to develop the campaign we're going to generate the leads um, those leads are going to be a little um, they're going to be perfect in terms of they filled out a form, they've, they've you know, come in through the lead, but they're not quite like I'm looking for long-term care insurance, etc. That'll be um, specifically on Facebook and Instagram. We won't really take users off Facebook and Instagram. We'll just drive that lead through Facebook and Instagram itself. Now, Google is a little bit more of a tough nut to crack. You need a little bit more steps within the Google system. So what we'll do with the Google system is we'll build a landing page with a video that educates Right? And then we'll have a conversion point, and then we'll do some content, and we'll do a conversion point. We'll have a click to call right here. We'll basically take Google traffic. So these are individuals that are looking for LTC keywords. These are individuals that are um, doing research on this, these, these keyword groups, these longer tail and short tail keywords to get them to our landing page. We drive them to our landing page and hope to get them to convert into a lead. So these leads in general are more expensive than our Facebook leads, but they have a higher buyer intent, et cetera. So whenever we work with long-term care insurance clients, we're typically trying to tackle both of those campaigns at the same time. Uh, depending on the budget um, that you have to allocate, really determines on the success of the campaign and being able to do both at the same time or one and then the other. Um, typically, the easier place to start to prove validity is the social media um, project. That's about a $2,500 a month budget and we'll get to where we need to go together with that. And if you want to go after the Google um, bottom funnel part, it's a little bit more difficult and tricky because we got to build a landing page, we got to build the Google campaign, we got to set up all the uh, call tracking metrics, etc. But it's a better longer term solution. In general, there's more budget going towards Google right now than social media nationwide in general. And also Google is what I consider to be like the big leagues compared to Facebook and social media just because you need a heavier budget. Um, for Google to play ball. The reason you need that heavier budget with Google on long-term care is because there's a lot of large 
um, players that are bidding up these keywords. Um, the reason they're bidding up the keywords is because they're working and they're generating calls. So if we come in, either if you are a big player or you want to come in and sort of compete with them, you got to have a little bit heavier of a budget. I'm thinking you could still do three, four grand a month um, to generate those leads that you'd want with the long-term care. Um, you could also start smaller, but if you have much less than 2,500 to four grand, then we'll just start with a small social media campaign at like 1,500 a month. That'll generate the kind of leads that you want to prove validity to get those call center um, leads going or... Um, maybe you have an appointment setter, maybe you do you know, telesales, whatever that looks like. But long-term care insurance has been a tough nut to crack. So you know, Secure Agent Leads is a lead vendor, obviously, you guys know that. And we've always stayed away from long-term care insurance as a lead type because it's never been something that we could consistently control. But we do feel like we have a good understanding of, of the long-term care insurance niche right now. So if you want to jump on board, we'd love to talk to you about it. Um, just go to secureagentmarketing.com and fill out sort of a, a lead form and we'll get in touch with you that way. Thanks for watching.